In our modern lives, a significant number of people frequently utilize airplanes. Sometimes, it's more convenient to travel to a nearby city by air than to drive. The global count of daily flights has reached a staggering 120,000. Despite this, there is limited knowledge about the inner workings of the aviation industry. How secure are airplanes? Is their structure as delicate as it seems? What aspects of air travel do flight attendants and pilots keep from passengers? In this video, we'll delve into 25 undisclosed flight secrets. Number 25. Unraveling the illusion of the mad rush. Have you ever found yourself caught up in the frenzy of the boarding process as if vying for the last treasure on Earth? Brace yourself for a surprising revelation. It's all smoke and mirrors. Airlines have skillfully led passengers to believe that being first in line holds some mystical advantage. However, here's the shocker. Seat assignments are predetermined, meticulously sorted out regardless of whether you're the first eager boarder or the last to join the queue. The mad rush, it turns out, might just be a captivating illusion. Number 24. Boarding Pass. The PNR Code Chronicles. Beyond being a mere travel document, our boarding passes harbor more than just a gateway to adventure. Concealed within the seemingly innocuous six-digit alphanumeric code is a trove of personal information known as the Passenger Name Record, or PNR. This code transcends its role as a mere string of characters. It is, in fact, your digital identity in the realm of air travel. Linked to a comprehensive database, the PNR encompasses details such as your full name, contact information, travel itinerary, seat assignments, and even payment details. It's a digital dossier that, if mishandled, could expose your travel patterns and unveil sensitive facets of your life. Safeguard your PNR code with the same diligence as you would sensitive financial or personal information. Once your journey concludes, treat your boarding pass, whether paper or digital, as a confidential artifact. Ensure its secure disposal. Shred the paper or delete the digital file, leaving no trace behind, protecting your privacy in the vast skies of air travel. Number 23. The silence during takeoff. During takeoff, passengers often experience a brief quiet moment, which may seem eerie but is a standard aviation procedure. As the aircraft accelerates, engines roar at full thrust. Skilled pilots intentionally reduce engine power to a climb setting once specific speed and altitude benchmarks are reached. This maneuver conserves fuel, enhances efficiency, and prolongs engine life. The noticeable decrease in noise during this reduction is normal and signifies the aircraft's smooth transition from ground to sky. Beyond the change in sound, this phase is crucial for transitioning the aircraft's systems from ground-specific to flight-specific operations, ensuring a controlled ascent. While the silence might raise questions for some, it is essential to view it as a routine part of takeoff, highlighting the precision and expertise involved in every flight. Instead of causing concern, it reinforces that the journey is proceeding exactly as planned. Number 22. The covert skills of flight attendants ensuring your safety. When boarding a flight, the friendly smiles of flight attendants not only assure comfort, but hide their adaptability to detect potential threats using secret codes and signals. Behind their amiable demeanor, flight attendants are extensively trained to be sharp observers and vigilant guardians, constantly assessing behavior for any unusual or concerning signs. Their training enables them to identify potential threats, such as unruly conduct or suspicious behavior, by analyzing body language, verbal cues, and passenger interactions. Flight attendants share a discrete language, a system of codes and signals facilitating seamless communication with each other and the cockpit crew without causing alarm among passengers. This covert communication allows them to swiftly and efficiently relay information about passengers or situations, ensuring prompt and precise resolution of potential issues. Beyond providing friendly service, flight attendants silently stand as dedicated sentinels committed to the safety and security of all passengers on board. Number 21. Choosing the lap of luxury, decoding the first class versus business class conundrum. For discerning travelers, choosing between first class and business class presents a tempting dilemma 
as each offers premium services with distinct features catering to varied preferences. Despite both options having a cost, the question arises, is the price difference justified? First-class seats are renowned for their opulence, featuring fully flat beds, lavish amenities like cashmere blankets, and gourmet meals crafted by celebrity chefs. The culinary experience is complemented by an attentive flight attendant, and entertainment includes oversized screens and noise-canceling headphones for an enjoyable journey. In comparison, business class provides spacious seats converting into comfortable beds on long-haul flights, gourmet cuisine, albeit with a slightly less extensive menu, and a diverse selection of wines and spirits. The entertainment systems, though excellent, may have slightly smaller screens than first class. Addressing the cost, first class tickets can be three to four times more expensive than business class. The decision ultimately depends on budget considerations. While business class offers a significant comfort upgrade, first class takes luxury to unparalleled heights. The choice between first class and business class depends on personal preferences and the journey's length. First class suits ultra long haul flights or those seeking the pinnacle of air travel luxury. In contrast, Business class is an excellent option for travelers desiring a comfortable and premium experience without a substantial budget impact. Number 20. Mitigating Bird Strikes In the vast expanse of airspace, the delicate balance between airplanes and birds occasionally tilts towards a potential hazard known as bird strikes. This safety concern has prompted airports worldwide to employ ingenious methods aimed at deterring birds and averting potentially catastrophic incidents. One innovative approach involves leveraging technology, where airports install LED screens that display dynamic, moving patterns akin to googly eyes. This visual spectacle creates an optical illusion, effectively discouraging birds from venturing too close to the runway. The use of such screens has proven to be a proactive measure in mitigating the risk of bird strikes. Beyond technological solutions, Airports implement modifications in the environment to make it less enticing for avian visitors. This includes strategic changes like altering landscaping, minimizing open water sources, and controlling vegetation to reduce potential nesting areas for birds. By shaping the surroundings in this manner, airports actively work to create an atmosphere less appealing to our feathered counterparts, thereby decreasing the likelihood of bird strikes and enhancing overall aviation safety. Number 19. Understanding Contrails versus Chemtrails In the expansive sky where jet planes create intricate paths, conspiracy theories, including the curious tale of chemtrails, have emerged. However, the chemtrails narrative is a misinterpretation of a well-documented atmospheric phenomenon called contrails, not a sinister plot. Contrails, short for condensation trails, are not part of a government conspiracy, but a natural outcome of hot engine exhaust interacting with the cold upper atmosphere. Contrails primarily consist of harmless water vapor, not chemicals. The visible white streaks are tiny ice crystals that quickly dissipate, similar to condensation on a chilled glass. Specific conditions at high altitudes, where the air is cold and rapid freezing of moisture occurs, lead to contrail formation. The right balance of temperature and humidity is crucial, and particles from engine exhaust act as nucleation sites for ice crystals. Contrails last for a short period, minutes to hours, depending on atmospheric conditions, resulting in varied shapes and durations. Understanding the science behind contrails is crucial to dispel misconceptions about chemtrails and recognize the natural atmospheric processes above, where jet planes traverse the sky. Number 18 challenges of airplane food. Airplane food has struggled with a reputation for mediocre taste due to various factors, notably the pressurized and dry cabin environment affecting taste buds. The science of umami, recognized as the fifth taste associated with deliciousness, diminishes at high altitudes, contributing to the perceived blandness of meals. In-flight noise, including engine hum and passenger chatter, further complicates flavor perception. Noise-canceling headphones emerge as a hero, effectively blocking ambient noise and allowing passengers to focus on intricate flavors. By eliminating background hum, these headphones enhance the overall dining experience, providing a simple yet effective solution to challenges posed by the airborne culinary environment. Number 17. 
Mystery of Aircraft Oxygen Masks In the organized chaos of air travel, oxygen mask availability may not be top of mind. However, have you ever wondered about the duration these masks can sustain you in case of an unexpected event at cruising altitude? Oxygen masks in commercial aircraft serve to offer a temporary oxygen supply during a rapid loss of cabin pressure, especially at thin air cruising altitudes. At such heights, a lack of oxygen can lead to hypoxia, a serious condition. The standard airplane oxygen mask is designed to provide oxygen for approximately 15 minutes, assuming the pilot can swiftly descend to a lower, safer altitude after a cabin pressure loss. Pilots are trained to respond rapidly by descending to a lower altitude with denser air, ensuring an ample oxygen supply without relying on supplemental masks. This descent strategy is the most effective way to counteract hypoxia and ensure the safety of everyone on board. It's important to note that there are no onboard oxygen tanks. Instead, a chemical reaction is triggered when you pull down the mask, generating the necessary oxygen supply. The 15-minute duration is a calculated time frame based on the practiced and decisive actions of the flight crew. Number 16. Addressing the pilot fatigue. While the skies convey a sense of limitless vastness, the individuals piloting aircraft within them are undeniably human and require rest and recovery like anyone else. Neglecting to provide aviators with essential rest can lead to a concerning issue known as pilot fatigue, posing a significant threat to the safety of everyone on board. Pilot fatigue is a serious concern, consistently identified as a critical risk factor in aviation incidents and accidents both civil and military. Over the past two decades, it has been implicated in 21 to 23% of major aviation incidents and accidents. In 2020, the European Aviation Safety Agency highlighted the well-being and fitness for duty of pilots as a top safety issue for large airplanes. The consequences of pilot fatigue extend to impaired reaction times and compromised emergency responsibilities. Additionally, impaired decision-making can result in errors in navigation and judgment. Recognizing these risks, aviation authorities worldwide have implemented strict regulations to address pilot fatigue. For example, the Federal Aviation Administration has established duty time limits and rest requirements for commercial pilots to ensure adequate rest between flights. Airlines have developed sophisticated crew scheduling systems, considering factors such as time zones, cross-duty hours, and circadian rhythms to prevent excessive fatigue. These measures ensure that pilots remain alert, responsive, and capable of safely navigating the skies. In the intricate web of aviation safety, addressing the human factor is crucial for maintaining the trust and well-being of those traversing the expansive realms above. Number 15. Aircraft Landing Gear Tires in the world of air travel, attention is often drawn to sleek aircraft, cutting-edge technology, and skilled pilots. But an essential element that operates quietly is the landing gear tires. These frequently overlooked components are not just simple rubber donuts. They are sophisticated engineering feats designed to endure extreme stress during landings, making them unsung heroes in aviation. The rubber in these tires is a specialized blend carefully crafted to withstand high temperatures, heavy loads, and the impressive speeds of aviation. When a multi-ton aircraft makes high-speed contact with the runway, the tire's strength becomes crucial in handling the impact. The construction of these aircraft tires is an engineering marvel, incorporating multiple layers of steel belts and nylon or Kevlar fabric. This intricate design is specifically engineered to manage the substantial weight and kinetic energy during landings. To prevent tire explosions upon impact, they are filled with nitrogen, a departure from the air typically used in vehicle tires. Number 14. In-Flight Safety When boarding an airplane, passengers enter a secure and highly regulated environment prioritizing safety. A discreet yet important aspect is the presence of hidden restraints or handcuffs strategically placed on many aircraft to handle unruly or potentially dangerous passengers. Airlines prioritize safety and are prepared to use these hidden restraints, typically in the form of plastic handcuffs, as a last resort to protect the flight crew, passengers, and the aircraft itself in rare but critical instances. Flight crew members are extensively trained in managing in-flight incidents, 
focusing on dealing with unruly passengers through conflict resolution, de-escalation techniques, and the appropriate use of restraints. While rarely needed, these hidden measures act as a safeguard, ensuring a secure and controlled environment for all passengers and crew members, even in challenging circumstances. Number 13. Safest Seats on an Aircraft When boarding an airplane, safety is the top priority. And surprisingly, the rear middle seats are considered the safest in crash scenarios. Ensuring passenger safety involves navigating factors like aircraft design, impact forces, and physics. During a crash or hard landing, forces are distributed differently across the aircraft, with the rear, especially the middle seats, often seen as a safer area. Modern aircraft have crumple zones in the front and rear, similar to cars, designed to absorb crash energy and increase passenger survivability. The tail, being heavier, has more inertia, making it a safer region. Rear seats are also often closer to emergency exits for faster evacuation. Middle seats in the rear provide an added advantage during a crash, as passengers are less likely to be thrown forward, having a seat in front for support. However, it's crucial to note that modern aviation safety standards ensure all seats are designed to withstand crash forces, dispelling any notion of the front of the plane being inherently unsafe. Number 12. The Hidden Rooms of Long-Haul Flights Air travel's allure is greatly indebted to the unwavering dedication of flight attendants and pilots who tirelessly ensure our safety and comfort during extended journeys. What many passengers may not know is the existence of hidden rest compartments, exclusively designed for these crew members, offering a secluded space to rest and recharge during lengthy flights. Long-haul journeys, often spanning multiple time zones, can take a toll on the physical and mental well-being of crew members. Adequate rest becomes crucial to maintaining their alertness and overall health throughout the flight. To address this need, many commercial aircraft are equipped with discreetly concealed rest compartments. These hidden sanctuaries are strategically positioned above or below the main cabin, accessible through inconspicuous staircases or ladders. Furnished with beds, and sometimes even bunk beds, these rest compartments provide a space for crew members to lie down and indulge in some much-needed quality rest. The beds in these compartments resemble those found in a small hotel room, complete with cozy blankets and pillows, creating a haven for crew members amidst the bustling activity of the flight. Number 11. Air Travel and Fresh Cabin Air Air travel myths often include the misconception that passengers breathe stale or recycled air during flights. However, Airplanes are equipped with advanced ventilation systems designed to provide a continuous supply of fresh air to the cabin, dispelling the idea of inhaling used air from fellow passengers. Sophisticated ventilation systems in aircraft cabins draw fresh air from outside, often filtered from the engines for combustion. Some cabin air is recirculated through high-efficiency particulate air HEPA filters, removing bacteria and viruses and stabilizing the temperature, reducing energy needs for air conditioning. Aircraft ventilation involves three main steps, cabin air intake, drawing fresh air from outside and filtering it for combustion, recirculation, passing a portion of cabin air through HEPA filters to stabilize temperature, and exhaust, expelling used air and impurities usually released through the rear of the aircraft. These ventilation systems ensure a high rate of air exchange, refreshing the cabin air every two to three minutes. This surpasses the frequency in many indoor environments, highlighting airlines' commitment to maintaining a clean and healthy environment for passengers during their journeys. Number 10. Dimmed lights. Airline safety protocols include the meticulous detail of dimming cabin lights during takeoff and landing, particularly on night flights. These phases are crucial due to the aircraft's proximity to the ground and higher risks. In emergencies during takeoff or landing, rapid evacuation may be necessary, requiring passengers to exit quickly and safely, making night vision crucial in these scenarios. Dimming cabin lights during takeoff and landing aids passengers' night vision, crucial in emergencies, especially in dark or dimly lit areas. Allowing passengers' eyes to adjust to the dark environment outside the aircraft is essential for safe evacuation. This adjustment becomes critical when passengers must exit into an unfamiliar dark environment, 
as sudden exposure to darkness from a fully lit interior can temporarily blind passengers and potentially delay evacuation. Dimming the lights in advance is a considerate measure to mitigate this issue, ensuring passengers' eyes are better adapted to the external low-light conditions during critical flight phases. Number 9. Handling of Passengers' Demise Embarking on air travel promises excitement, but occasionally the vast skies witness solemn moments, especially in the rare event of a passenger's death during a flight. Airlines and flight crews, understanding the sensitivity, have established protocols to navigate these moments with respect and dignity. When faced with a passenger's death mid-flight, flight crews prioritize preserving the individual's dignity and offering compassion to the grieving family and fellow passengers. Comprehensive training ensures a calm and professional response to in-flight medical emergencies, including scenarios involving passenger deaths. Upon suspicion of a passenger's passing, the flight crew consults any medical professionals on board to confirm the situation. Once confirmed, the deceased passenger is discreetly moved to a private area, demonstrating the crew's commitment to handling the situation with respect and discretion. In many countries, airlines must report in-flight deaths to local authorities upon landing, initiating necessary investigations or paperwork. Specially trained flight attendants provide support and comfort to grieving family members and passengers, respecting privacy by refraining from making announcements or disclosing details. Families experiencing a loss during a flight are provided a designated area at the airport for grieving and making arrangements. The deboarding process is adjusted to discreetly and respectfully remove the deceased passenger's body. Following landing, the body is handed over to local authorities, concluding the challenging process with the dignity it deserves. Number 8. Airplane Windows As you soar 30,000 feet above the ground, the airplane window becomes your exclusive portal to the world below. Have you ever pondered the intricate structure of these windows, especially those tiny holes? Airplane windows are not simple sheets of glass. Rather, they are sophisticated assemblies, typically comprised of three layers, each serving a distinct purpose. The outer layer, robust and impact-resistant, faces the elements, withstanding air pressure, potential bird strikes, and debris to ensure passenger safety. The middle panel, a structural layer, provides stability and distributes pressure evenly across the window assembly. The innermost layer, closest to the cabin, acts as an additional barrier for passengers. The minuscule hole in the lower sheet of glass, known as the bleed hole, is not a flaw but serves a vital purpose. The cabin is pressurized for passenger comfort, but at cruising altitudes, external atmospheric pressure is significantly lower, creating a pressure differential. The bleed hole acts as a pressure relief valve, equalizing pressure between the middle and cabin glass sheets. This equilibrium prevents the middle panel from succumbing to excessive stress. Next time you peer through that airplane window, marvel not just at the view below but also at the engineering brilliance ensuring your safe and comfortable journey above the clouds. Number 7. Do not pair. In the dynamic aviation world, where teamwork is crucial, the cockpit becomes a realm of seamless collaboration for pilots. Yet like any workplace, occasional disagreements may arise. To maintain harmony in the skies, pilots use a discreet but powerful tool, the do not pair list. This confidential tool, employed by some airlines, strategically ensures a cooperative and conflict-free cockpit environment. The do not pair list allows pilots to discreetly communicate their preferences, avoiding scheduling conflicts with specific co-workers they may have had notable disagreements with. The primary objective is to proactively prevent tensions from affecting the cockpit, where undivided attention to safety is paramount. By empowering pilots to steer clear of scheduling conflicts, the Do Not Pair list contributes to fostering a focused and professional atmosphere in the aviation industry. In essence, this behind-the-scenes tool is an essential component in the intricate dance of aviation teamwork. Its role extends beyond prioritizing safety to safeguarding the collaborative spirit that ensures smooth operations in the vast skies. Number 6. Pilot's Food Routine Pilots who juggle the responsibility of navigating the skies and prioritizing passengers' safety follow a lesser-known culinary protocol to safeguard their well-being. 
a measure crucial for ensuring flight safety. Aviation authorities and airlines have established a clear protocol. Pilots and co-pilots should not eat the same meal during a flight. This rule, far from a whimsical preference, is a strategic move aimed at minimizing potential risks to the cockpit crew's health. In the confined cockpit space, where both pilots share a small area and handle controls together, the risk of contamination is significantly elevated. The protocol serves as a preventative measure to avoid a scenario where both pilots fall ill simultaneously due to food poisoning, ensuring that at least one crew member remains fit to safely operate the aircraft, even if the other is indisposed. So when you see pilots on a flight having different meals, it's not just a culinary preference. It's a strategic measure designed to uphold the highest standards of safety and well-being in the vast skies. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Hello, folks. Please take a moment to look at this image. Quite unsettling, isn't it? Let's consider the possibility that the person in the pilot's uniform is the flight captain and the individuals not fully dressed are the flight hostesses. In what context is this practice acceptable or commonly done? What could be the issue here? Perhaps a case of theft or another explanation? Even if there were suspicions, it doesn't seem justified for them to be undressed in this manner. While one might initially think it's a routine check, the situation appears peculiar and unusual. Despite their professional appearance as flight attendants, it raises ethical concerns. There could be an alternative explanation for the scene depicted in this image. Therefore, dear viewers, we invite you to share your thoughts and insights in the comments section as we work together to unravel the mystery captured in this photograph. Number 5. Aircraft Escape Slides Despite being prominently featured in pre-flight safety briefings, the large yellow escape slides serve a critical purpose to enable rapid evacuations in emergencies, ensuring passengers can quickly exit the plane. While the majority of these slides may never be used due to the rarity of incidents, they become indispensable in emergencies, playing a vital role in ensuring a swift and organized evacuation. Occasionally, there have been instances where these slides unintentionally deployed on the ground, causing unexpected delays. However, these occurrences, while disruptive, inadvertently highlight the impressive safety systems in place for every flight. With each flight, it's reassuring to know that this essential yet mostly unused tool is on board, ready to serve its purpose if needed. While the hope is for these slides to remain folded and unused, their presence underscores the meticulous safety measures and preparedness that define air travel, reinforcing the commitment to passenger safety in the vast expanse of the skies. Number 4. Airplane Lavatory Privacy Airplane lavatory locks provide a familiar sense of privacy to users, but a lesser-known fact is that many lavatories can be unlocked from the outside. Concealed beneath the lavatory sign, a discreet latch or mechanism exists for flight attendants' emergency access, prioritizing safety. This external unlock feature is primarily designed for situations where a passenger inside requires immediate medical attention, allowing flight crew members to efficiently manage critical emergencies. It's crucial to note that this feature is discreetly and exclusively used in cases of absolute necessity, ensuring flight attendants respect passenger privacy and prioritize safety during air travel. Number 3. True Reasons Behind Electronic Device Rules Contrary to common belief, the rule to turn off electronic devices during takeoff and landing isn't primarily about preventing interference, but rather addressing potential distractions and physical harm. In these critical flight phases, safety is paramount, and loosely stowed electronic devices can become projectiles during abrupt stops or turbulence. The regulation aims to reduce the risk of these items causing harm to passengers and crew. Takeoff and landing are pivotal moments requiring heightened attention. The rule to free passengers from headphones and device distractions is rooted in the need for increased awareness. In emergencies, an unencumbered auditory environment ensures passengers can hear and promptly respond to crew instructions. This emphasis on minimizing distractions and maintaining situational awareness reflects a commitment to prioritizing safety. Enforcing these rules during critical flight phases underscores the significance of attentiveness as a fundamental component 
in ensuring the well-being of everyone on board. Number two, the intensive training behind engine out procedures for pilots. Pilot training includes rigorous scenarios focusing on engine out procedures, addressing the critical threat of malfunctions in multi-engine aircraft. Pilots undergo systematic training to fly and safely land the aircraft in case of engine failures. This process involves expertly managing the plane's glide, ensuring a suitable landing location, and skillfully handling aircraft systems for safety. Advanced simulators play a crucial role in replicating engine failures under various conditions, allowing pilots to practice and refine their responses. Although rare, the preparedness and proficiency of pilots in handling these emergencies are essential for maintaining aviation safety standards. Comprehensive training ensures pilots can navigate and manage aircraft even in challenging circumstances, contributing to the overall safety and reliability of air travel. Number 1. Why the seat belt light comes on in the airplane. You know that ding sound and the seat belt sign that lights up when you're on a plane? Most of us link it to bumpy rides or takeoff and landing, but there's more to it. Yes, it often turns on during turbulence, but pilots might also use it when they expect rough air, even if the sky seems calm. It's like a heads up for passengers to stay seated and buckle up, just in case. The seatbelt sign isn't just for passengers, it's also a tool for the flight attendants. When the sign is on, they know not to start serving drinks or meals. This way, they stay ready for any unexpected bumpy patches. Even on smooth and long flights, it's essential to follow the seatbelt sign. It's there for everyone's safety, reminding us to be careful and ready for anything in the sky. So, next time you hear that ding, remember, it's about looking out for each other up there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.